Well, welcome back. This is tutorial three of the coaster project. And in this tutorial, we're going to make the inserts that go into those pockets. And this should be a pretty short tutorial. Now, first thing we have to remember to do as we start to draw these inserts is to activate the component that we made in the last video that is inserts. And now we're drawing on inserts. Notice it ghosts out the inactive components. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create um, a sketch. Now the sketch we're going to make that also bird's eye view. Uh, we're going to pick this top plane. There's, there's a number of ways to do this, but let's just pick the top plane. And now we're just going to pick a circle. It doesn't matter where you draw the circle. There, I'm going to draw it there. And the circle should be three inches. And now I'm going to pick the circle by clicking on it. I'm going to hit E on my keyboard. I'm going to pull this up to 0.125 thickness. Enter. There. Now I've got that. So now what I'm going to do is make copies of this. And you can see under here I've got this body and sketch. So now I'm going to make another one. So click on it, or click it here, right click, and we'll go copy. And then out here somewhere we'll go paste. Uh, wait. If you don't see paste, and it's good that I didn't, I didn't see paste right away in my menu, uh, just hit escape a couple times. That, I find I do that quite often. And then right click and you should see a paste. Well, wait a minute. Oh, that's why. You can't paste on itself. See, it's the active component and it can't paste over top of itself. So we got to go top level here and activate the top. And now when I right click, I should see a paste. Uh, paste and paste new. Well, paste new, paste an absolute new one. Paste paste one that looks the same. However, they are linked together. If I ever did something to one, it would happen to them all. Let's just do paste and that will maybe be helpful later. Okay, so when you paste in, it puts it on top of the old one. And if you just say, okay, you'll think you don't have two. You can see I got another one coming in over here already. Uh, what I usually do in this case, I'll just grab this arrow click and hold and move that out and then push OK. Now you can see you have two. There's one here and click and hold and you can move them around, right? And this moves around too. Okay, let's do that one more time. Let's just right click and go paste, uh, just regular paste. And if you see this, it's usually best to just say, yep, capture position. Uh, and so now we'll pull this away and we'll push OK. So I've got these three inserts. Now the inserts are all three inserts. It would be nice to put them under a component. So let's see if we can do that. I'm going to right click and create a new component. I'm going to call this inserts. It's just an organizational thing. And then if I go to my top level so I can see all of my steps, I'm going to take that inserts thing and move it way back in time to the beginning. And then I'm going to take all of these three inserts Notice it's this number one insert now. This is this one. And by the way, if you click on them, it'll tell you in the browser tree by underlining which one it is. There it is. And this is insert two. I think I can take those and drag them all underneath inserts component. So now I have a neat and tidy coaster blank inserts. And if I expand inserts by clicking that arrow, I see all my various inserts. Okay. So I want to actually put these inserts in there. And you can't just do this. You can't just click and move because no matter what you do, they're never quite right. Uh, as I orbit around here holding control, middle mouse button, and look, I can't get it to work. So what you do is you assemble things. That's what this is about. Click assemble, a joint. Now there's many ways to assemble, but we're just going to do a standard one, capture position if it's presented. Now what you get to do is pick and the one that you pick first will move to the other one. So if it matters, that's worth knowing, right? So I'm going to pick this one. I'm going to orbit to its bottom, or actually it doesn't matter because it's round. I'll, orbit, I'll pick the top. And you'll see you get choices, right? You're on this surface. Pick that center, and then pick this center. And then it's going to give you an animation showing you that it put it in there. And if you like it, you push OK. And then we'll assemble another joint. And we'll do the same to this one. We'll put that in there. And then we'll push OK. And now we'll assemble another joint. We'll pick this one. And we'll put that one in there. And push OK. Now they are stuck together. See these little symbols? That means there's a joint there, a rigid joint, they call it. Those are stored over here in the browser tree underneath rigid 1, rigid 2, rigid 3. You can see them lighting up as I go across there. You can turn them off so you don't have to look at them. 
that's kind of nice. Okay, uh, then the next tutorial, uh, we're going to create a PDF of this and get it ready to go to vCarve for carving. Uh, and I'll probably also put some texture on this because it's kind of a little boring looking at it in gray and it's supposed to be wood. So we'll see you in the next tutorial. That'll be tutorial four, I guess. All for now.